guess this would be called, uh, you know, Dear, Dear Gary. Dear Gary, Indiana. So, even though I'm not in Gary, even though I'm not in Indiana, um, I just felt the need to say this. Um, a lot of people in the city want to make it out the city. A lot of people want to make it out the city. You know, a lot of people want to stride and be be successful. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with wanting to be successful. Um, the thing about that is the way that you go about wanting to be successful. You know what I'm saying? The reason why Gary gets no shine is because the way we go about things. You know what I'm saying? Somebody come out, somebody, let's say, a rap, let's say for example, a rapper from Chicago come to the G. They don't expect nothing of our city but for us to destroy and kill one another. So that's why they just come, get their little paycheck, get their little couple couple hundred dollars that you work hard for. That you, you know what I'm saying, whether you in the streets or whatever, you risk your life for the money that you getting. Right? So, all they expect us to do is kill each other. That's why don't nobody really look at the G. Yo, Gotti was looking like he was looking at the G. Uh, Freddie Gibbs looking like they looking at the G. But they don't expect nothing from y'all. I'm a part of that. Whether I'm out of, whether I'm out of town, or I'm in Cleveland, whether I'm in Detroit, wherever you feel me, I'm still a part of Gary, Indiana. But I could sit back. And understand why we ain't getting out. It's because of how we go about things. We want to go about things the way somebody else go about things. But we ain't understanding that that's bringing death to their city as well as our city. We we all want to be gang gang and uh, uh, this and that. When all it's doing is killing everybody. Most of our people, most of our friends, most of our family members then died to gang violence. No matter what y'all say, oh no, he wasn't he wasn't doing this or doing that. But guess what? I bet you he said on the fan. I bet you he said on the G. You feel what I'm saying? And all people do all people chase games for is for for money. Ain't nobody chasing the game for brotherhood. And that's what we don't understand. The love of money is the root of all evil, folks. So if we want to chase this money, we, we willing to kill one another to chase a dollar than to sit and help one another make a dollar. That's why we not getting out. See, that's, that's the difference between Gary and Chicago. Okay, yeah, they on their gang gang stuff, but guess what? Most of them is helping each other, but y'all don't even know that, cause y'all so everybody else so worried about entertainment. Let's see a beef. Let's see this. Let's see that. Y'all don't even know if them niggas, you feel me, on the phone with each other. Hey, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, let's act like we beefing. You feel me? Cause you know they gonna gravitate to that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like man, we. Because ain't none of these niggas that's on dying. It's niggas around them that's dying, folk. You ain't you ain't hearing FBG Doug killed. Chief Keith killed. Lil Dirt killed. Why? Oh, they just so overly protected in the streets, huh? Nah, bro. They benefit off of y'all's stupidity, bro. At the end of the day. If, if I had a mixed message, understand this. This world, these people, these higher-ups, they benefit off of our stupidity. I can't talk for nobody else but Gary. That's where I'm from. I am from Gary, Indiana. So that's who I'm talking to. You feel what I'm saying? Gary, Indiana. Other places, other people 
benefit off of our stupidity. And they waiting to kill us. They waiting to kill us. They waiting to kill us. Because guess what? We ain't going to amount to nothing else anyway. All everybody want to do. I was there. I was there. I was in that same shoe. What is So can't nobody. Oh, oh, here come Carl. He, 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 he Jesus now. No, foe. I was in the same shoe destroying myself. Still to this day, trying to get away from the abuse that I put myself through. I didn't sip lean. I didn't did. I didn't did pills. I didn't smoke weed. I didn't drink. I didn't did all this abuse to myself for what? Because guess what? While I'm abusing myself, Somebody else is gaining off of that. See, that's that's the whole point of what I'm saying. And that's what y'all don't understand. That's why white people, Indian people, everybody around us laugh at us, bro. Because we'll never get the bigger picture, man. We'll never get the bigger picture. We always, we want to do what we see somebody else do. And it's, it's going to kill us. Because you can't live the same life as somebody else. You don't know what they going through. You don't know if they even, you don't even know if they talking to the devil, bro. Go, go and read that. Go and read that up. Everybody want to look everything up. Want to deny Christ because of something that you heard. Go and look things up yourself. Take the time out and understand how gangs is connected to Satanism. But y'all won't do that. Y'all rather antagonize a person like me. But y'all won't go and research how gangs connected to Satanism. How gangs connected to Masonry. Y'all won't do that. Y'all won't take the time to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't got that's why I really ain't got no friends. It's either you family or you family. That's it. <laughs> ain't no friends in hell, folk. But go do that. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all wanna look up, oh, what what uh TMZ said about this or or what TI said about this uh uh Lil Wayne daughter just this just happened and that just happened Brett like Dave Chappelle said this this was past Dave Chappelle folk America need to prioritize they news folk saying things that is a priority put it at the top and this bullshit, just, just let it go. You know what I'm saying? See, they put, they gonna put, they gonna put, oh, it's a, it's, it's been a recall on Bluebell Ice Cream before they tell you that your country is out here killing, killing innocent people. But see, y'all gonna be like, man, what is he talking about? Exactly what I just explained. We need a priority. We need what's priority to be first. And this bullshit. I don't care about a celebrity, bro. See, we care too much about people that don't give a damn about us. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We'd rather go for the BS. Then was ex was exactly affecting us, because what we don't understand, while we killing each other, killing ourselves, somebody looking at us laughing, yes, we winning, we winning, we winning, they losing. You see what I'm saying? That's what y'all don't understand. Somebody looking right at us, saying, "Thank you." They still hooked on weed. They still stuck on stupid. Yes. Do y'all understand? See, I'm in Virginia Beach. White people looking at me like. And we don't know what, what he. What he's about. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I'm not out here sagging my pants. I'm not out here. You feel me? Acting stupid, bro. I done had some slip-ups and some battles within myself because I got to get away from a certain type of lifestyle. See, when all you done did is, oh, I want to have sex with every female and 
I want to smoke my weed and I want to drink my liquor and and do this. I want to be angry and I want to do this and I want to do that. All you is doing is opening up demons to your life. Cause by the time, think about it. Anybody, anybody who watched this that done been through some shit and trying to and tried to get away from it, but you but you got a past. How, tell me that I'm lying that it's so hard for you to get on the right track because of the things that you've done in your past, bro. So when when I'm saying some fugazi shit, if, if, if somebody gonna watch this shit, if I'm saying some fugazi shit, comment and say that. See, when I say something, everybody, or post something, everybody want to act like they scared to say something. Stand up for what you believe is right, bro. Because guess what? You're going to have, you going to have the wrong energy for the wrong thing. You soon as somebody on the fin, on the G, on, on my, on this, you ready to stand up. You ready to bout. But when it comes to what's right, Y'all don't never want to stand up for it. And y'all know better y'all self, folks. See, when you in your lonely, you know better, bro. But when you around these niggas that you think care about you, oh, I, I ain't going to say nothing, bro. I ain't going to say because you worried about how somebody else going to look at you. See, that's why we do so bad. Because we worried about everybody else but God, bro. Because at the end of the day, guess what? All your niggas that you riding for, when they die, guess what? I bet you wherever they at, they, gonna, they wishing that they could tell you to get on the right track, bro. I swear to God, bro. I done lost so many niggas, bro. And I guarantee you, if they could send me a message and say, bro, get get on that shit, bro. I bet you they would, bro. I bet you they would, bro. And I'm trying to be something positive for my city, man. I remember how the sun, the sun used to hit the streets, bro. How it used to smell in the summertime. It smell like death in my city, bruh. We don't even understand that the sun was shining and had tried to tried to make Gary look beautiful because of God's grace, bro. But guess what? We want to follow a game. We want to follow on the G, on the fin. And that shit ain't doing shit for you. It's destroying your life, bro. It done took... How am I? How am I? It done took so many of your niggas up out of here, bro. So, so, where is the progression? I'm east side. I'm wet. Y'all niggas stay down the street from each other. Not even 20 minutes away. I'm east side, I'm west side. I'm east side, I'm west side. Man, y'all niggas dumb, bro. And as long as y'all stay in that little box, it's that box is so little compared to life, bro. As long as y'all stay in that box, this this what they think of Gary. Boom. You feel me? I'm telling you, I could go anywhere in this country and say. I'm from Gary, Indiana. I swear to God, I didn't. Everywhere I go, I'm saying I'm from Gary, Indiana. I'm from Gary, Indiana. I'm from Gary, Indiana. But guess what? Somebody else hit that from Virginia Beach, from Cleveland, from old, from hell, from hell, from hell. They gonna say Gary ain't nothing. Gary ain't nothing. It's nothing there. But niggas that want to kill themselves. When is Gary gonna be tired of being the laughing stock of, of cities? 
See, y'all man ain't going to say this. Do you want to know why? Because they want to continue to benefit off of y'all destruction. So anybody can hate me for this video. I love my city, bro, regardless. But for us to continue to kill ourselves, I'm not finna sit and watch that. See, y'all enjoy that. So this is Dear Gary, Indiana. This is my letter to Gary. When we gonna wake up, bro? When we gonna help one another, bro? When somebody gonna share this, huh? Yeah, we can share. If you a real, if you, and then you cannot get in. What? We can share all that. We can share that. You feel me? We can share that. Yeah, I'm feeling some type of weight. Because how many more niggas I'm gonna have to lose, huh? How many more niggas I'm gonna have to lose? It's getting shorter. Huh? It's getting it's getting smaller and smaller. Huh? We gonna kill each other, bro. And that's what they they benefit off that shit. Guess what? While y'all killing each other, y'all man sitting back. <laughs> why we gotta spend look, <laughs> why we gotta spend money if they gonna kill each other? All they gonna do is fuck up the schools. Fuck up the playground. We we put new courts out there. All you gonna do is tear the, tear the net down. Tear the rim off. You know what I mean? What we gonna, what we gonna open the Genesis in the fold? Huh? See, I'm about to... What we gonna open the Genesis in the fold? When all they gonna do is fight and kill each other. Huh? Huh? Only time they know how to act... See, don't nobody want to watch no baseball. Huh? Why, why, why open up the Genesis Center? When all they going to do is kill each other. Why open up this park? Huh? When all they going to do is kill each other and destroy the park. <laughs> they going to tear down the swings, push over the slide. It's no future in the G because it, be, I'm telling you, because I'm on the fin, on the G, on west side, east side. It's so much division. A divided house would never stand. That's God's word. But God is the one who tripping on you. No, it's whoever you it's whoever in your mind you think God is. You think God the white man? You're not going to perceive the word the way it's supposed to be. Because at this point, you got to understand that God, you want to you know what color God's skin is, bro? Well, you want to know what God look like? Look at the damn sun. He brighter than that. God is so bright. God is so bright. You could pray on it, bro. If I'm lying, I'm dying, for God is so bright that he, his brightness can overcome every obstacle in this world. Can overcome any sin, bro. Because of the brightness of his presence. Darkness cannot sit in the same room as something so bright. You see that shit every day. <sighs> can you can you sit in a room with light in it and still see darkness? That don't even make sense, bro. So while you worrying about what the white man said and this and that, you need to understand how he really enslaved us. He enslaved us through division. He took God's word and divided our dumb asses. Because y'all don't know who y'all is, bro. Y'all don't even know who y'all is to God, bro. And that's that's the whole that's the whole point. I woke up thinking about Gary, bro. I'm in Virginia Beach and I woke up thinking about Gary, bro. See? When we leave, we fuck Gary. Fuck Gary. Ain't shit no way. But that's where that's where your mama stay. 
That's where your niggas stay. That's where your sisters stay. That's where your grandma stay. But fuck Gary. You might as well say fuck everybody then. You might as well say fuck my family. Fuck my grandma. You might as well say that. Because that's who out there. That's who out there still believing that one day. Something good gonna come out this city bro. But y'all niggas ain't got no hope bro. Y'all niggas ain't got no faith bro. Y'all own God. Nigga man shut up man. You might as well say on Satan, nigga. Y'all niggas dumb, bro. <laughs> I, I ain't even get, man. I ain't finna keep going on on this shit, bro. Cause that shit is sad, bro. I done lost too many niggas. For what? For what? I own the fin. I own the G. I own, I own West Side, East Side. I done, I done lost too many niggas for that dumb ass shit, bro. That shit dumb to me, man. Like, nigga, we stay right down the street from each other, bro. And you telling me we can't hash this shit out? It's it's because of the love of money. If it wasn't no money, y'all wouldn't even have a fucking battle, bro. And that's what y'all, that's the enemy. Because a little piece of paper, no, I could buy me some J's. I could buy some crack with it. I could buy some weed with it. For a little dollar, bro. Got y'all motherfucking killing each other, bro. That's what y'all don't understand. It's not about what Whoopty Whoop did. We not finna make it seem like that. It's for the love of money. And until y'all understand that shit, ain't a dollar finna come to the G, bro. Ain't nobody finna get out that bitch, folks. Not without dying. Huh? Y'all wanna be famous on that trap shit? Oh, you ain't fucking with Dora Miller. You ain't fucking with, uh, uh. <laughs> Glenn Park, 5th Block, 22nd. 49th, 7th, I ain't got nothing against none of that. I don't have nothing against no street <laughs> in Gary. <laughs> but I'm saying, if y'all want to go out the same route as a Chicago, some people got to die. That's why your, your best rappers, oh, G Herbo, uh, La Dirk at BG Duck. Look around them. All they niggas dead. All for they pockets. Think about it. If they was doing something positive, bro. If they was doing something positive, bro. Why all they niggas dead? Oh, oh, for, for something that happened in 1999. No. Gangs is really working with Satan, bro. Look it up. Baby. Baby girl. You feel me? Look it up. You feel me? Motherfucking X, Blood, Crip, or who, whatever the fuck he was. Man, yeah. Gangs, we praying to Satan. Some of us be on the dark side. Man, niggas, stop playing with me. Why you think so many niggas die? Ain't nobody going to be down behind no gang if Satan ain't connected to it, my nigga. God ain't connected to the shit. Stupid. You got to have more sense than that. That's why it's stupid. That's why I'm saying you're stupid. You got to have way more sense than that. Everybody in the G is bright, bro. You feel me? All of y'all got some type of talent. You know what I'm saying? Look at the best. Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna just end it with this, bro. The best pop star came from fucking Gary, Indiana. Okay, okay. Peep that. Peep that. 
the best pop star known to fucking man, bro, came from Gary, Indiana. Michael Jackson. The Jackson family. I still to this day never can say goodbye. Bro, the best pop star came from Gary, Indiana. Not Atlanta. Not New York. Not Memphis, Tennessee. Gary, and let that sink in y'all motherfucking brains, bro. Y'all, we can say whatever we want to say about Michael Jackson, bro. Right? Soon as that shit come on the radio, your ass going back in time, fool. Stop playing with me. Soon as Michael Jackson come on the radio, y'all never can say goodbye. No, no. Bro, I'm telling you. And they destroy him. Come on. A person that's... Listen. A person that's special is going to get castrated and destroyed by the world. Y'all got to understand. Yes, Jesus is at the as that is in heaven. Heaven. You feel me? Heavens. Right? Satan... Is right under that. He right. Okay, you got the heavens, Satan, and then you got us, bro. Like, Satan is right over us. But God is over Satan. So he over it. God is over it all. You see what I'm saying? But then, but you, but listen, the key thing is you got Satan right here in the middle. Think about it. The, come, think about what I'm saying. It is what I am saying is biblical. Satan was special to God because he was gifted. You see what I'm saying? And he was physically attractive. Right? So he was special to God. We also special to God. But see, the thing about God making us was Man, they gonna sin. See? Because Satan, it was God, Satan, and then us. So it was like, damn. They gonna sin. But, but, some of them gonna Still have me, you know what I'm saying? Still gonna understand that I am with them. So I, right, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Go ahead, human beings here. You know what I'm saying? See, the thing that they want to destroy from history is the fact that some people, even our people, you got to look this shit up. This is shit that you not, it's not going to hit your mind unless you go out and seek it. You see what I'm saying? We used to have people, black, Africans, you per se, whatever you want to call it, Africans, African American. We used to have black African leaders, right, that was willing to fight for the word of God, bro. This is something that you can look up. But you're going to have to do, you can't, you can't. Be satisfied with the first damn thing you hook. You see what I'm saying? This some shit that then took me years of digging. I'm not. I'm not talking about the Illuminati and all this other shit. I didn't already. I did that. I studied the Illum- what the Illuminati was in 20, 2011. You see what I'm saying? Twenty ten. Twenty. That shit is old to me, bro. When it come down to niggas being Satanists, bro. We not finna nickname it Illuminati. No, nigga. Like I said, y'all don't... Niggas ain't gotta believe me. But if you wanna go down that road, go down that road then. Try to be a Satanist then. And see how you have to denounce Christ. Why do we have to take all these steps if Christ don't exist? See... A nigga 
is stupid. My grandma Sandy used to always say, I hate an educated nigga that think they know everything. See, that's what we is these days. Educated niggas, bro. Every, every person that I can name that died in my family died with the Bible on their side, bro. But guess, guess what? Before they died, they were smoking weed, smoking crack, doing this, doing that. This is the point that I'm trying to make. Through life, they was fucking up. But before they left this motherfucker, they put the crack down, put this down, and grabbed on to the word of God, bro. Guess what? I'm not sitting here trying to win nobody heart. <laughs> That's for God to do. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, no matter what you believe in, no matter what you believe in, we all going to see God one day in the name of Jesus Christ. You could think his name is Yehoshua, Yahashua, Yahanawah, Allah, Buddha, all that shit. Because when you get done with your idols, Cause that's what Allah is. That's what Buddha is. I don't give a fuck who against me, bro. Let me say that. You can say, all right, Carl, so now, now you, man, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. I done been in a position to where I let go of God, bro. That's why a nigga can't tell me shit. Motherfuckers gonna come on my shit. Oh, so you saying Allah ain't... I don't give a fuck about no Allah, nigga. Because he ain't God. Jesus Christ is God, bro. I done seen hell. Literally. Fire. I done seen it. When I was out here smoking my weed, drinking my liquor, wanting to do this, wanting to do that. Nigga, I woke up in hell, bro. Am, am I lying? Remember, remember that shit, man, folk? I'm asleep. I, I wasn't asleep for no longer than 20 minutes. For, oh, oh, shit, oh. What's wrong with you? Bro, I just seen some fire, bro. And I seen this this beast, my nigga. Man, that shit scared the shit out of me, fool. So I already know how it is letting go of God, bro. But God say if God is with you, who can be against you, bro? Ain't no ain't nothing gonna come against you, bro. If God is with you. See? 